Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm making yet another nog. So in the same traditions as my last couple of videos, last year I stole Leandro from the Educated Barflies nog. Uh, this year, a couple of days ago, I stole the one from uh, Clyde Common or Jeffrey Morgenthaler's signature nog. And this year I'm stealing Sarah Morrissey's from the Ernesto Bar in New York City. This one is probably a little bit different to the other couple of nogs that I've featured, uh, a little bit less traditional. It's still traditional in the sense that it's a brandy based eggnog. It's got cream, sugar, and whole egg in there. Uh, but it's got the addition of a little bit of coffee liqueur as well as vanilla liqueur. So something a little bit left to field. And also the way it's served is quite unique. So make sure you hang around to the end and see what's different about it. Well, you'll see a thumbnail anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see a thumbnail anyway, so you already know exactly what the cocktail looks like. It's served over ice in an old fashioned glass or a rocks glass with a sprig of mint, which is pretty unusual for an eggnog. But I have high hopes for this cocktail. It calls for two ounces, 60 ml of your preferred uh, cognac or brandy, of course. I'm using Pierre Ferrand uh, 1840 formula. And we have 15 ml of Mr. Black. So it specifically calls for Mr. Black. 15 ml, half an ounce. And vanilla liqueur. It did call for Giffords, the, the recipe. There's nowhere locally that I can quickly get a bottle of Giffords and I really wanted to make this nog. So uh, it was actually easier for me to make my own vanilla liqueur. So this is a blend of vodka, brandy, sugar, or like a, a syrup, a cane sugar syrup, and obviously vanilla. So it's got fresh vanilla beans in there and it tastes absolutely delicious. If you would like this recipe, I'll leave a link in the description so you can, uh, so you can download it. 15 ml, half an ounce. I probably should have actually just made a video on how to make your own vanilla liqueur, but if you guys all download the, the recipe, and I get lots of people downloading, then maybe I'll share it. 15 ml, half an ounce of cinnamon, a rich cinnamon syrup. So a two to one simple syrup that is infused with cinnamon. Then 30 ml, one ounce of heavy cream, or in Australia, we call it full cream, and a whole egg. So fill your, fill your shake with ice and give it a shake. Of course, it's got egg in there. Make sure you use a fresh egg. Definitely want to use a fresh egg and give it a hard shake. So good. This one's served over a few cubes of ice. Oh, garnished with grated nutmeg. And as I said, very unusual for a nog. Garnished with a sprig of fresh mint as well. I get a really grasshoppery kind of vibe with the, the cream and the mint together, but I think it's gonna taste very different obviously because it's got uh, the spiciness from the cinnamon, uh, coffee flavors, as well as vanilla. They have Sarah Morrissey's eggnog. Cheers. Whoa, that's intense. That's pretty boozy. Uh, I mean, you do have three ounces, 90 mil of, of booze and a big portion of that is a 45% uh, cognac. This is a delicious drink uh, as uh, a single serve eggnog, as a, a readily made one that just takes a couple of minutes to, to smash out. But I would have to say that I do prefer uh, Jeffrey Morgenthaler's basic or base eggnog recipe as, as well as his tequila and sherry recipe, purely because you make it ahead of time and it has this, and you, you beat the eggs, you beat the sugar into the eggs. Make sure you check out that recipe up here and in the description because of the process and the lack of water in the drink from dilution through shaking, it's got this thick vis viscosity. This is a very tasty drink, don't get me wrong. My eggnog, I'm a big fan of Jeffrey Morgan's recipes. So make sure you check that out. And if you want to, 
compare it to this, compare it to Leandro's recipe that I did last year as well. I'll leave a link to all of them so you can compare. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.